I'm no expert, but in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I do the California patch. So here we have a door that's been crashing into the wall, and it's punched a nice hole there. So we're going to start by measuring the dimensions of the hole, taking into account the distance behind the hole where the drywall punches out bigger behind than in the front. So I'm going to start by taking a piece of drywall and I'm going to mark out my measurements. Now my measurements are two inches bigger in each direction than I've determined the hole would be on the back side of the wall. Now I'm going to mark out my measurements, drawing a nice straight line. Now I'm just going to cut these lines. I prefer to use an X-Acto knife for all my cuts because it makes less sawdust, or I guess drywall dust. So I'm just going to cut it, and it also has a cleaner edge. So just cutting the piece off here. And now on the back side, because I made it two inches bigger, just going to mark a one inch on each side, just making my marks, and then drawing all my lines to make sure I have one inch all the way around. Now I'm just going to cut the back side, being very careful not to cut all the way through, and then you just very carefully break and tilt the pieces off. This gets harder with bigger patches, but just going to do that for all the sides. Cutting carefully, making sure not to go all the way through. And also you want to cut, make sure you make your cuts in such a way that you don't cut all the way through the paper when it comes off the edge. That's why I left that piece there till I had cut the other sides. Now just breaking off the last piece here just very carefully take your time make sure that's a nice edge and now we have a drywall patch where the paper is acting as the drywall tape so now I'm just going to mark that on the wall putting it on place and then just going to trace around the edge this is a lot quicker than making my hole making sure my piece is the right size for it just putting the piece on the wall marking around it and now again, I'm going to start with a X-Acto knife, but you could use a drywall saw instead. You just want to make sure that whatever you're using, you cut pulling out because the paper on the back is going to really want to be pushing in and ripping a bigger hole. So you want to do kind of a sawing or cutting motion where you're pulling toward yourself and cutting on the backstroke, not the pushing in. So you wouldn't be pushing the paper inwards. And then just cutting all the way around, making sure to get all the paper cut and not just punching it back in. And this here is an example of someone who did not patch it well. You don't just start filling a hole with drywall mud and paper. That is not a solution. Well, it's not a very good solution. But we still have our issue here. So what we really need to do is we need to add a door stop. So I'm going to do that at this point. Just mount a little door stop down here to make sure that the door doesn't mess up the new patch. And there it is. So now we can proceed. Now I'm going to cut a bit of an edge here, just a bit of a bevel. And that's going to be for the drywall mud to get better adhesion on this. So you just want to put a bit of an edge so there's more space for drywall mud making sure to do it on all the sides. Now here's the drywall mud. I'm just going to take some of the drywall mud and put it onto the patch, making sure to get it fully covering and on both the drywall piece itself and coming out on the makeshift tape, I guess, quote unquote. And so making sure to get it solidly all the way around. And then once you've got lots of drywall mud, you want to make sure there's excess and then just stick it in place and then make sure to get it all squeezed out nicely. And then now it's just to start doing it like you would a normal drywall patch, adding mud in layers and sanding them until you have the finished product. Now I'm not going to demonstrate that all right now. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.